Hey, Dragonlings, what's going on? Astral Slam back today, bringing you Jeskai Reanimator. You're going to be one with the multiverse with this deck, but to be one with the multiverse first, make sure to hit that subscribe button down below and let's get to the deck tech. So with this deck, we want to bring out the big enchantments that we have with a slightly larger and advantageous creature in the Jeskai build. The primary focus here is getting one with the multiverse, kind of like an eight man omniscience in a way. So you get this enchantment in, you look at the top card of your library, you can play lands and cast spells from the top of your library. And once during each of your turns, cast a spell from your hand or the top of your deck without paying its mana cost. That is the omniscience effect. This enchantment can be huge and it's not legendary. So if you have three, one with the multiverses, that's three free spells a turn, just seems kind of crazy, right? Well, it gets even crazier with some of the stuff that you can play with this, like Portal to Phyrexia. This nine mana and shit artifact is huge. ETB, your opponent sacks three creatures. At the beginning of your upkeep, you can put a creature card from any graveyard into play under your control, and it becomes a Phyrexian in addition to its other types. So acts as like a nice little board clear, gives you some value back. If your opponent has a she Holdred that they just sacrificed, well, hey, that she Holdred. It's now going to be yours on the next upkeep, so you're the one that's gaining the life, and they're going to be losing it. Super awesome. In order to stabilize, too, though, we do have a creature we can hit off this, which is a Sanctuary Warden. Just a good all-around six drop, coming in with those shield counters to protect it from destroy effects and damage. And when it attacks or ETBs, uh, you can remove a shield counter format or another Planeswalker, any counter for that fact, sorry. Make a 1-1 citizen and draw a card. So a little bit of card draw, a little bit of board state. Utilize some of your extra counters if you've got any, which, you know, Invoke Justice does great of. We have Invoke Justice and Repair and Recharge in this deck. These are going to be our key ways to get back these big spells. Bearing in mind, Repair Recharge only hits Artifacts, Enchantment, and Planeswalkers. It does not hit the, the Sanctuary Warden. However, Invoke Justice hits any permanent. So we are doing a 4-3 split because of this, we really want the Invoke Justice. It grabs any of the three. Repair and Recharge hits our rather bigger ones, which is the one with the Multiverse and Portal to Phyrexia. Still great choices. Now, in order to get these into the graveyard, we need a, uh, a few looting effects. In order to do so, we are running three in this build. Rafines and Reformant, uh, Conniving, letting you draw and discard a card. Faithful Mending, drawing two, discarding two with Flashback. And of course, Fable of the Mirrored Breaker, because we're playing red. And this card is basically six mana worth of stuff on a three body. You get the Treasure Goblin, you get the Draw Discard, you get the Reflection of Kiki. And Reflection of Kiki, when you have a Sanctuary Warden out, is, is kind of stupid value. More tokens, more draw. You get the picture, right? It does things. But we are also playing in the Phyrexian Dragon Engine here, because hey, Discard the Dragon Engine, unearth the turn five, ditch your hand that maybe has, you know, that Portal to Phyrexia, the one with the multiverse, and then draw three cards. That's pretty good. And it's a little body that we can have in to uh, attack. I don't think we mind that at all. Board clear wise, we are running a uh, two removals in the main in terms of Brotherhood's End acting as artifact removal and creature removal and to populate, just destroying all creatures as well. Our other removal comes when we play in a best of three match here. This is where we get into the uh, the negates, the abrades, the farewells, soul partition, strokes, curses, and burnouts. So depending on the matchup, if we're in an aggressive match, we're really going to be bringing in those abrades, the soul partitions, and the burn down the house, keeping creatures off the board, exiling them to tax up their effect, and dealing with any other annoying things like a bank buster. If we really need to go down the rabbit hole, against midrange and aggro we've got in the farewells as well selectively choosing to exile artifacts and creatures and enchantments and ideally not touching our graveyard because that's what we want to keep but it's there if we need it against control matchups we do have the negates the disdainful strokes and any other reanimation or takenuma decks we are running the unlicensed hearth as well so we have our selection to also go up against the reanimation decks too Targeted graveyard removal, full on graveyard removal. You have larger board clears that you can bring in. Target removal, control matchup, text to bring in. And just an all around great way to hold the board with Jeskai Reanimator to really become one with the multiverse. <laughs> Sometimes you gotta go for the pun, right? 
Anyway, Stranglings, I hope you enjoyed checking out this deck as much as I did in the games coming up. Please make sure to check that out. Hit the like and subscribe button, the uh, bell notification for more. Keep believing, and I'll catch you next time. Portal repair depopulate. By every right, this hand should be good. I was looking into DJ and Gaming. I keep saying, yeah, we're pretty, we're, we're around. We're forcing flyers? Nice odd. Flyers, I think, is actually respectable. Denik. Really? Denik? I can't win today. Why am I facing a Denik? Alright, goodbye, portal. At least I have a populate that can kill the Denik. Unless this is Rafine into making that a 3-4. <laughs> I mean, that's fair, Odd Eyes. You gotta, you gotta play and force what you want to. There is nothing wrong with that. Our attack, yeah, I'm blocking. I want Denik gone. What do you do, sir? Put in Investigate? Yeah, that's fine. Um, I'll do a Deserted Beach. We might have to switch our deck based on what we're running into tonight. It's a lot of control right now. Playing the Sure, I'll take one and go to 19. Erase. Um, I think I just depopulate, let them get the draw, and then Denix gone for good. Seems okay. I don't think I'm gonna cast a repair recharge on my turn though, just if they have a counter spell. But we may that's my two mana open. Mana untap tells me a lot. I'm gonna take four, go down to fifteen. If I do this and get the portal of Phyrexia back, it's really great. I'll try it. Probably a make disappear or a negate. It's not. Oh. Oh. Right then. I totally thought. Hmm. Interesting. Hmm. Well, one Rafine informant coming back. All of you seem to be a relatively nice lot. We try. Portals for X is what I don't need. Uh, is there anything I can even bring back? Oh, it's target permanent, right? Target me. Catch me with that make disappear now, I dare ya. I have the two mana. Yeah, I didn't think so. Oh my god, yes. Oh, portal to Phyrexia. <laughs> Two portals to Phyrexia. <laughs> oh, this feels great. And I can still pay for the make disappear. See, this is what the deck's supposed to do. This is turn six. Yeah, that's that's pretty fair. I still have an omniscience though. Oh, she holds Rin. Oh, that's, that's cute. I want your Rafine. I want my Rafine. This is gonna hurt me, though, because uh, I did draw. I'm gonna discard the one with the multiverse. 14. So I'll play in a one with the multiverse. Wanted to build and didn't get the mythics for Genie. Welcome, friend. How you doing? What's going on? Love the deck. Thank you. I do too. I'll be happier when it works. It's uh, not working yet. We've we've won matches and lost a, a subsequent amount of others. It's doing its thing. No, it's fine. It's fine. It it'll get there. We 
we're tweaking things and the decks we're running into are probably not our like best matches. I probably need to like have Sanctuary Warden Cyborg. Jordan, the night's going to step up, blood. You have a great night, friend. Happy Friday and happy Thanksgiving. I'm going to game life here, which is disgusting, but sure. I'm just going to block you, Holder, and I'll take the four. I get a she hold your back, so that's kind of cool. Vangelion. Sure. I mean, portal triggers, right? I get uh, she hold your back. I'm gonna also take the. Nah, I don't want the Denik. I'll take my informant again. And I mess up the order on this every time. Okay. I'll play this for free. Pass one with oh right, I get two free spells. Ah. <laughs> I'm stabilizing, chat. I'm stabilizing. We're stabilizing. Oh actually that's a Yeah, that's a portal for Xia. We wanna we wanna dump that. We're stabilizing, chat. Look at us. Portal to Phyrexia, we got the game, let's go. Okay, we got there. All right, Disdainful Strokes come in, Burn Houses come in. And I guess our Wells actually come in as well. Goodness, right? When it works, like this deck works, it, it's literally just that it, getting it to work. So I feel like we're bringing in two bigger board clears and I'm not gonna have the brothers end in. We need things that hit five and we need things that do every creature. Don't wanna touch her big hits and I like that. The pop hits, I'm fine putting down to three. I'm gonna cut a Rafine's informant and a mending. And one fable. We're gonna run it back like this. And then just throw me every rip. When the deck works, it's insane. Like when it works, it's it's getting it to it. And not a chaotic transformation. Oh, Genie, can you post a list in the Discord? I am very curious on that. One, one game out of three, you'll be sorry. <laughs> I believe it. I believe it, man. I would love to check out the list if you want to shoot it over. I think that'd be sweet. I'd be I'd be very down. All right. Opponent takes the play here. I, I do think we're actually getting the feel for the deck too, which kind of helps and not not playing against a control deck certainly is better for us. Hmm. Opponents on the play though, we've got five lands, repair, recharge, and warden. If I hit a... I'm gonna risk it. Probably build it better. I mean, you never know, Genie. I made deck build, but that doesn't mean I'm the best at it, right? Don't want counters or what? Really? No, no kidding, you don't say. <laughs> Uh, let's just do Deserted Beach and I'm flooding out. I only kept because we have like a target and a oh, there's an informant. I love that. Alright, one Rafine's informant. No counters in hand. Great. Which probably means it's creature removal. And I'm gonna discard the Sanctuary Warden. Like this this little card is the only engine I needed. Creature removal, I was right. No counter spell is big knowledge for us, though. Rafine coming out. Sure. Um, I'll play in the Stormcarve Post. We're gonna play in another Rafine's Informant. Stainful Stroke. Uh, sure. I'm gonna discard the Adakar Waste. 
if this is a she holdred oh it's not it's an unlicensed hurt that's fine we can deal with that we can deal with that. i have the uh i have her things for a reason i only got two cards in hand I'm gonna say no attacks and end the turn for the moment. He'll attack in and hit me for three. We'll go to 15. I think ideally at this point, I'm gonna be looking for our farewell. So we can mending here. That is a depopulate, that does help. I will discard two lands. There's the farewell. That's good. So let's go for the depopulate. Let's attack for two first. Damage kind of matters here. Then we'll go for the depopulate. See if they have counter in hand. Stroke is fine. That is one last counter for when we can do the farewell next turn. And this is probably going to be unlicensed here to activate. Yep. Again, still fine. We're down to 13. We're probably going to hit... I might just hit everything. I don't hit... I do hit everything, so... Only two cards in hand. Do they play a critter? They do! Oh, they tapped out. Well, let's draw a land. The one time we... I mean, one time we need to draw the land. One time we need to draw the land. Ah, uh, it's unfortunate. We're still not dead. This hurts though. Oh. Alright. Well, we can block the unlicensed hers. We might be dead. I gotta live at one. I live at two. I have to block. So I live at two. That's the land. We have to hope farewell here works. Exile, 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 exile. No counter spell. Damn it. Ah. They drew that on the last knife. If we hadn't missed the land drop before, we were fine that game. So discarding should have been switched. I should have kept one land on the discard. But we're going to run it back. If we just had the land for the farewell. And that's the games that I'm talking about, right? It just comes down to that little bit of closeness, which is, is misplays on my part with learning and getting the deck right. I'm going to keep again because we have two targets. Just need like a looting effect. Playing beach and excuse me, tapped. Tapped is fine. Let's go out of car ways, make them think we're holding counter magic. On the play is a very strong advantage for us. Dog. Such a good draw. Holy crap. Living the dream now, chat. Living the dream. We've got the fable. Fable the draw. We could get a turn four repair recharge. We're gonna get a turn four repair recharge. Okay. 
I will go to 16. Put a war, uh, not. I might hold back the Odawara and actually discard the Silken Zon. Get a stroke and a portal. Oh. In the attic. Yes. We have to attack in here. Hi. Yeah, I'm just going to repair a charge, get back the one with the multiverse. Right? Because we just do that, and then we get a free uh, portal to Phyrexia, which gets them to discard. <laughs> Turn four, by the way. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. I like that. <laughs> when the deck works. Pretty good. I'm liking, I'm liking this. This uh, is... Yeah, yeah, that, that, that's fair. I'll take three. You, you got me at 16. 13. And I like your Rafine. Thanks. I also like a free Sanctuary Warden. Of which I can draw a card. Play in a land. Play in a Dragon Engine. And attack for two. Turn five, because this is balanced. Uh, let me get. All right. And in case they try to board clear me, I have disdain poster. Life is great. All right, let's take that tenacious underdog. Uh, let's play the Aganjo in. Make a copy of our Sanctuary Warden. Let's remove a shield counter from here. Uh, let's play in another free Sanctuary Warden. Because apparently this is fair and balanced. Let's go to combat. Let's get all these triggers rolling and put it on the Dragon Engine because of Double Strike. And there it can see. Yeah, no, that's very true, we do. Uh, and repair, warden, engine, sure. Engine's fine, engine can bring it back. We can repair the engine and discard our hand, draw fresh stuff. Like, I'll, I will say, we're not like... Ah! Okay, soldiers, sure. So, Brotherhood's End is great. We have to wait till turn four for that, but that's fine. Re Portal to Phyrexia as a follow-up will be good. We can still play Dragon Engine next turn as an extra blocker, so board-wise, we're holding on. We'll go to 17. So we play in our Phyrexian Dragon Engine. Say no attacks. And we now have a double striking dragon that can go toe to toe with Thalia. Well, that's handy. Chaotic transformation. <laughs> You're not wrong. And a Denik. You gotta be yoking me. You know what? Bye. Bad opponent. Bad. Playing Denik. That's a one of the two of in that deck. How dare you. Oh, hey, look, a land and to repair recharge. Hey, look, a portal to Phyrexia. Okay, now we're good. I don't know, but at least we've got this. Uh... Ironically, I want them. I actually think I want the Norel. Weirdly enough. Then I want to repair Recharge again, and I want to bring back the Phyrexian Dragon Engine, which will trigger its on Earth. I actually didn't work out too bad. Not worked out too bad at all. Now I just start bringing back their stuff from their graveyard. 
I brought back the morale first because I can attack with it and make soldiers. And it's a good 3-4. Finn's fine. Resolute's fine. They're not having five creatures to attack. I feel like it's make that a 4-4. Swing, I'm gonna bring back a Valiant Veteran. And double cast uh, Fable here. Uh, I could attack him with our 4-5. And I get a soldier, which is kind of cool. Hey, I have blockers now. I'm the soldier deck. The problem is the five attacks here, and everything is going to be flying now. That's going to be the issue. I just I did not have the removal for the uh, Harbin. Four, five, six. I get all plus one, plus one. That's five, six, seven, ten, eleven. I'm actually dead. They just straight attack me and I'm dead. Even after all that. Even after all of that, I'm just dead. Wait, hold up. Do not. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Hold up. You actually didn't. Discard a land. I discard the land. I'll take a mislethal too. I'm going to discard the land. Yeah, you know what? We're going to try to get the warden. Oh, we got a warden. Eh, that works. Another fable. I just attack and force blocks and get them to have. A bunch of soldiers and they have to block. Oh, okay. I feel like they mixed the texts on this. Is oh no, they didn't have it, right? No, they wouldn't have had it. Sorry. Initiates a warlock, not a soldier. So Siege would have flown, Harbin would have flown, this would have flown, and so would this. But we would have bought the initiative and lived at three. Ow. Oh, I totally thought that was a soldier. All right, well, that, I'll take that. That makes more sense why they didn't attack. Okay. That makes more sense. Uh, either way, we're bringing more board clears. <laughs> this is the board clear game. Um, I guess... Uh, I'll leave out curse for the moment. Discard you. Keep him Brothers End. Engine actually is useful. I'll cut down on there and go down and invoke. And this is just going to be a uh, board clear city. We find board clears, we win. That's, that's the name of uh, what we're playing the game to here. That makes a lot of sense. I totally thought Initiate was a soldier. That makes a lot more sense. Yeah, Morale's pretty cool though. Uh, Rafine's Mending, Ooh, yeah. We don't have a clear, but this is a great setup to find a clear. This is a really great setup to find our clears, because this is draw, this is draw, this is draw. Also, this is a blocker. That's a Thalia. Take one. Informant. All right, Informant comes in. Discard the Sanctuary Warden. Gives us a trade onto the Rafine's Informant. Nope. Actually, yeah, that gives us a trade into the Hopeful Initiate, sorry. Unless they just only attack with Thalia. Kill the initiate, because initiate's always the pain. These are those two. Not get a board clear. But we can play into another informant. 
That's a depopulate. We have now a 3-2, another blocker. Okay. Sure. Morel's annoying. 4-3 now. I'm gonna block it. Less damage. Hey, Boo Boo, enjoy your lick, my dude. So we play that. We play in Fable. Soul, but he's not a soldier. <laughs> True, though. Okay. Arbin's fine. They come and attack in here. We block Thalia. We take six, go to ten. I'm not gonna discard anything. We're gonna play this, and I have to cast the Depopulate. So they do get a bunch of 1-1s, but we have Brotherhood's End for the second board clear here. Carbon's fine. We'll go down to 7. I don't think I have any hits. No, I don't. Need something, so this has to be Brotherhood's End. I need to just clean up that board. Great. We can end the turn. We have a faithful uh Athar Commando. Sure. Alright. There's a critter that can attack me. So we're going to four. So you're telling me there's still a chance. Faithful Mending. And I'm going to discard the portal and the Attacar. I do that because we're going to win on Sanctuary Wardens. Gets me a land, which is great. And I have blockers, which is great. And that's what we want. Double Cathar Commando is fine. We have blockers. This is what matters right now. Okay. I guess. Let's go. You are attacking. That seems foolish. Sure. You have to have one to sack, all right? I'll just play another Sanctuary Warden. Hey, look, another portal to Phyrexia. Um... Just make one ones. We did it. Reedy keeps her bad. But like, this is, this is fine. Uh, it might be. Probably, honestly, it is. But, you know, it's fun to try on best of three. And this is mono black. Huh? Portal. Uh, portal's good. Portal gives me a way to do things. If I can draw the correct mana. Sleeper, sure. You gonna crew the bank buster? Feels odd to do. I'd actually take the four at this point on that. I feel like I'd like the card draw better or buffing the sleeper. Do go for it. Alright, sure. That is succinctly fine. Play on the coast. Put play in dragon. Gives me blockers. That's valuable. Has double strike. Which is 
Double that. Also, you can't go for the throat. Can't put it down. But yeah, Genie, I, to be honest, it probably is best of one. <laughs> Realistically speaking, as a combo deck, how much it relies on the graveyard, it probably is a deal one deck. I'm just gonna crew again. Doki. That's fun. Oh, you have a go for the crew. So I take six. I'll heal up. Discard a one with the multiverse. Suppose an invoke justice at this point. And deserted beach. Playing another fiends in point. Discard a Faithful Mending. Say no attacks. Play the planes, invoke justice, get back the Phyrexian portal, and force them to lose their entire board. Turn the maker dragon engine huge. That's the play. That's fine. I'm not trying to gamble at this point. That's fine. That's also fine. Good, good. Crew the bank buster. Give in. <laughs> Commit, my friend. Commit. Commit. Yes, good, good. Commit. Commit. Good, good. <laughs> Fun fact about the Dragon Engine, it has double strike. I do lose my board here, but... What I don't lose is my ability to stay alive, thanks to Invoke Justice with the... Yeah, telling me there's a chance. Yeah, telling me there's a chance. I am at six. There are so many ways that I die here. I don't trespass which sucks. That's actually not Oh you have a case. Uh ironically, I actually think I want to beans and form it here. Right? Because I don't need to be able to gain life. Well, that is a card that I can't cast. That is uh, also a card. One, two, colorless. That, grab that. Say goodbye. All right. Yeah, telling me that. Telling me there's a chance. Okay. Oh, she holds me back. Why even take this time? It's a Gix. I'm gonna die to a shoe holder. How awkward is that? Do I just go in to gain the two? It keeps me alive. That. Need a Rafine. So I live at six. I attack, I block. I get a flesh gorger. It's my turn. I get a trespasser. I eat the Gix. I eat my informant. I'm still alive.
I am one mana off being able to mull. Come on. One mana off from being able to one with the multiverse into a corner. Jeez. One good best of three game. Just one. That's all I'm asking for. This is only your opponents can't get life. True. I still don't want it to come back. No, I couldn't mend. If I mend, she holds her kills me. Right, so I gain two off mending, but then I go down to two. She holds her kills me for every two cards. Every card I draw is two life. She holds her just like wrecks me. Drop an invoke, drop a one, keep a portal. Cut down pop. Cut down dragon engine. Down to I like this. Just one good. Mm. Just give me a good best of three. If she holds wasn't out, again, one land or she holds it. Fine. Fine. I, I feel like I probably should stop going down the rabbit hole because I've played so much Reanimator tonight. We really should play another game. <laughs> I have other decks I wanted to play. Hey, combo guy. Welcome on in, friend. How you doing? Welcome and happy Friday night. We're going to take the play. Okay, we have a discard. We have an invoke. All right. It's not great on hands, oh, but... Oh, yeah. Thanks, this touch. Thank you so much for the follow. Welcome into the Ember Dragon Legion as a Dragonling. Happy Friday. How you doing tonight? How you doing today? Combo, I'm I'm great. You want to stretch? You got it, Nick. It's... I am I am playing Jeskai Reanimator and just trying to get in one final good best of three game. Our last ones have been, like, into game three and tight and close. And it's just been, like, one little misplay. And 100% this deck is... It's, it's fun. You did something nasty in Historic Brawl? Okay, do tell. Also, um, Ankis. Just want to play my EDH tomorrow. Oh, Commander Tournament. Okay. What Commander deck you playing? Also, you're a ninth fall of the week, my friend. Welcome in. Starting hard with the Raid Runner again. Thanks on me. Garukai, let's go. Good choice, good choice. Into a sleeper. This is exactly like last game. This time I'm ready. I'm prepared this time. Ooh, stacks combo. Let's go. Okay. I, res I, I respect that. I respect that. Don't you dare get rid of my 2 2. How dare you? I made a copy of Cage Zone in 3 4. Oh, combo. That's disgusting. I love it. Alright, so they're missing land. That's good. That, that is good for us. I get rid of two. Play battle down. I'm going to take a lot of ping damage, but... I think we have game two. It's going to hurt me, but... Yeah, tr Trespasser's fine. Because you're not, re you're not ready for this, my friend. When, when we get the deck rolling, the deck works. We're gonna go. We gotta... I am, like, low on health here. Do not get me wrong. But... I have portals to Phyrexia. We are doing things. We are doing things. And I did have a Kneeling Clock. Ooh, and Paradox Engine. I think I'm mana. That is disgusting combo, but that's great. Anxious, I would be very curious to see the deck list. That sounds very fun. Yeah, give me give me your trespasser. Meaning your evolved sleeper. I need life. I'm gonna play the Sanctuary Warden in for free. I'm gonna remove a counter draw card. I'm gonna play this land. I have any other permanents back? You know what? I'm gonna invoke justice. I'm gonna target me. I'll pay myself. This is fine. That was a total mistake. It's fine. 
Now you're thinking portals. Now I'm thinking portals. There's game two. Okay. We did cool stuff. Now, give me game three. <laughs> uh, gosh, you let me... Yeah, 100% because just when you got time. Feel free to post it up in my Discord if you and Combo would like to join. Um, Combo, I'd absolutely love to take a look at your list and see what you're jamming with it. So, please feel free to join on my Discord. I have a deck list section. Uh, kick it on in there. I want to take the blade, no question. Very well. Mending. Okay, four lands? Yes. This is actually a good keeping hand. And they mulliganed. And they You have had sleeper on one every game. What you doing? Actually, no, it's not been sleeper on one every game. It was the Obeka. Okay. Two is fine. Another sleeper. Sure. So I would play on the Battlefield Forge. Commander IRL? Oh, heck yeah, combo that's also geeks. I don't like geeks. Uh, one with the multiverse. Uh, I think I need to keep that. I lose three. You spell table two? Very nice. Uh, I can afford to play out my things here. Alright, so this is six damage. Three card draws. I feel like it's buff buff. Board clear. I need a board clear. Where's my board clear? Thank you, board clear. To populate everyone. Yes, I'm telling me I'm going down in damage. That's fine. Uh, ironically, I think it's Portal 2 Phyrexia to kill the Sheholdred. And then I bring it back with my portal and heal with looting. And I shouldn't say it's ironic. It's probably Phyre Phyrexia feels like the right shadow. Shadow's fine. I like your she Holdred. I like gaining a lot of life. I also like playing free spells. Like Faithful Mending. Which gets me life. Okay. Hope of the Throat is perfectly fine. It's exiled. Junji. Well, I'll take your Gix. So that that's cool. And then I will farewell. And I will let you... Yeah, I will, I will farewell. And we're going to do... Creatures. Those can just be gone forever. And I will pass the turn. Free spells do be fun. They do be fun. I completely agree. So you're telling me you're doing that. It's fine. I'm activating Foundry, so I'm probably doing Fables here. Also forgot to tell you that I made... And glass. That's awesome, though, combo. I'll check out the deck list right after this match. Uh, so we're taking five. I'm going to heal. Draw. 
Uh, I actually... Did I just kill the foundry? I think it doesn't end. And they draw a card. So my turn. My underdog. Uh, play the land off the top. Has to mending off the top for free. Discard two lands. Play a fable and end the turn. I can cycle through a lot of cards next turn if I need to. Uh, sure, raid runners is fine. Half my cards left in my deck. I still have a couple portals, and I still have a sanctuary warden. Ooh, yeah, I'll take an evolve sleeper. Nice. I think I have a Warden of Mine, right? Let's discard our Adakar Waves. I don't really need the land. Invoke Justice. Does that give me anything right now? Uh, I guess it technically buffs up the Underdog. Which is beneficial. But I can just bring back another one with Multiverse. Target me. Okay, and then we do counters on underdog and here, so we split them two and two. And get game three. 